Hey Aries, so this is your summer solstice reading. We are about to get into it. So if you guys, if this is your first time being here, thank you for being here. Um, be sure that you subscribe to the channel. Um, also like this video as well. What else is there? And yes, thank you for being here. Um, those who have been here, thank you for returning. And we also have um, our full moon ritual coming up on the 26th, it is, I believe. Let me double check. I think it's the 26th. Whenever the Capricorn full moon is, I'm sorry, I don't have a specific date right now. But yes, um, go ahead and sign up for that. The link will be below in the description box so that you can look to see if that's something for you. Um, and yes, so let's go ahead and get into this Aries reading. So Aries for um, the summer energy for y'all. When I asked the spirit this morning, what was the vibes for y'all? The song that came up was Eternal Light. Eternal Light by Free Nationals and Chronics. Um, good vibrations, yeah. That's the positive vibe that we create in you. Song that makes you feel right. It's a very vibey song, okay? So... Um, it feels like that you guys will be really focused on creating peace and harmony within your world, you know, and with those around you and, and, and relieving yourself of all that does not, all who does not, you know, so definitely um, taking some time to uh, be focused on what it is that that feels good as well because that's a very the words he speaks in a, he speaks about feeling good um and and just dancing and him um singing his song and watching the girl moving in her body like so you may be really feeling into your body really into yourself right not that you already aren't always but um in a way to share that with others as well um, and focus on the truth, right? Because that's what that song is also about, being very focused on what's real, right? And, and not sugarcoating it, just and still feeling good, right? Like we can know these things and still feel good. <laughs> these things do not control um, our happiness, our good vibes or anything of that nature. Okay, so let's go ahead and get started. Like this incense real quick. What messages do you have for Aries? What messages do you have for Aries? Let me cut this light on my that's a little bitter. I seem like it felt like I was just really dark. Where the setting anyway was really dark. Okay. Very spirit, very summer solstice. Okay. That's interesting. So, hmm, part of me, I'm feeling like I want to roll that again because that one failed, but that was Capricorn and Moon and Capricorn in the 12th house. So, feeling like very responsible for your soul work, for your soul mission in a sense. <laughs> Same thing, different energy. We got the sun in Aquarius in the first house. All right, so very focused on your purpose and what it is that you are desiring within your life, within your world, finding peace, balance, harmony, right? Your freedom as well. Um, connection with others to connection that is long lasting and 
and expansive really focus on your duties though what it is that you've come here to do what it is that you come here to carry out all right and um what it is that that's actually going to look like for you and fully expressing yourself in this being yourself right and and almost like you focus on the people right because even the mo with the moon and capricorn in 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 the 12th house that's the collective energy and capricorn is the boss he's the she is the leader she carries out the order for things to carry on right and the moon this is about foundation stability security within the self as well but this is that too uh the sun in the first house with the in in aquarius that is a strong resonance of who it is that you are it's a lot of um fire energy with this autonomous air it's a lot of autonomy here all right, but also focus on autonomy of the others. What else is here for? Maybe focus on children this 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 summer as well. Um, doing some new things, helping them meet their goals, um, and connecting with themselves, with their self, right? But it's a lot of individual energy here because first card that's coming out is here, the ace of sticks. So you're focused on uh, really fully expressing yourself, your inspirations, what it is that you, um, your creative expression, carrying out these duties in whichever way. You may be also connecting uh, with yourself spiritually in a different way, in a new way, in a way that is more aligned to who it is that you are, right? And this is happening in the summer. <laughs> It's like as soon as summer hit, which is tomorrow, because I'm recording this on the 20th, um, it's going down. you like ready. You know, it's like almost you've been waiting. <laughs> Have you been waiting, Aries? Um, but really expanding. Oh, because the what's looking at me on the dice is the sixth house, Jupiter in Libra. Granted, Jupiter in Libra is in its fall, so it's, it doesn't operate as great, but Jupiter in any sign does well. Okay unless it even it even if it, there is obstacles it still does well of surpassing them and there aren't many obstacles that are initially present when it comes to libra right so this is about your service your work out in the community um what it is that you do for for another but also your work and that being of a sense of justice of fairness in regards to another your path the truth and focusing on only the truth and nothing but the truth okay so help you <laughs> oh what else is here spirit what else gets here for aries okay so under aquarius we have the five of coins so you is like you're cultivating a new sense of self, a new sense of self-worth, getting very grounded in who it is that you are, coming out of um, that lack, right? So that lack that has been stopping you from being truly aligned to your path, your purpose, um, your happiness, your fulfillment, right? Because sometimes that really, will, when we don't see ourselves as worthy, we don't see the, our, the value it is that we are, we don't value ourselves, we don't love ourselves, right? Um, that stops us from really being able to enjoy life. It, it, we end up carrying burdens that don't serve us, right? So there is radical change happening to your sense of value, your sense of self-worth, even just your personal values it is that you hold within life, even if it's not about you, right? And there's some change happening here. There are just too many cards. But this. Wow, and then we have the five or six under the first house, so, you know, you doing your thing. That's it because the five or six, it can speak about competition, but it's also about um, um, disregarding the status quo to be able to show up in who it is that you are, which is what sometimes creates conflict, right? Um, 
<clears throat> but at the end of the day, like you win when the five of sticks come up is similar to the five of swords. Although there was conflict, you won, right? There, there was no stopping you and being very focused on what is real, what is true, what, what, um, you're knowing, you're understanding. You may also be learning some new knowledge. Also very focused on the mind and information and um, what it is that needs to be known in the truth. The truth, it seems that's the only thing that's, that you really care about this summer. Everything else is just like, all right. The truth about you, the truth about life, the truth about the world, okay, the truth about spirit, <laughs> the truth about material things, having things, all right, and what it is that you want to do, the work it is that you want to go about doing, and how you want to go about doing that. What else is here? What crystal for Aries for this summer solstice energy spirit? You got the amethyst. All right. Wow. Yeah. It's it's everything. I was just talking about. Um, so it says use it when it's time to give up the victim routine and start living in with purpose. Hold on tight to amethyst. Get drunk off your highest self. If anybody going to see your self-worth, it's going to be the highest version of you. <laughs> and at the bottom, um, you have amatrine. Uh, why am I showing you the words? This is what it looks like. Kind of look like an amethyst, but in a quartz crystal kind of thing going on. All right, and that speaks about make your big dreams your big life. So with Aquarius there, you know, that's about your long-term goals. That is about... Um, that's about large gains as well. So you don't necessarily have to be large gains just as far as money to be about your your business, your work, you know, and doing what it is that you desire to do. What because it's a lot about your desires here and what it is that you, you know, how you want to show up and be able to be of service to another. And so you got the wonder card here. So this is about seeing the light, seeing life through all inspiring eyes. It's also about being curious, right? Being curious about what it is that you can do. Being curious about what if you showed up fully? What would that mean? What if you seen yourself highly? What would that mean? What if you let go of all the ways that you believe yourself to be up until this point and did how you felt? showed up how you felt what would that mean for you what would that look like for you can you be curious enough to make that move and, and figure it out and see for yourself you know <clears throat> let's see what else is here for that's interesting oh lord that was a far reach And know that whatever you think is, is at a distance from you, it's just a little bit further along the way if you just keep going. Okay. Let's see what these elements have to say. So I don't want to pull that card first, but it's fine. The Green Fairy. Somebody else has that card. I don't remember who, but the Green Fairy. So she speaks about healing. Um, she encourages you to sit and meditate and breathing in green light until you feel full. Feel full of it within your body, within yourself. Okay. And um, really let the healing take place in your life in the way in which it is that it's needed. Um, this can also, oh, you may be having some really big changes to your health this year. I mean, this summer as well. 
And also here at the bottom, you got too many dragons. So pay attention to the opinions that you are taking in of others, right? Opinions, that's all they be. Don't let them uh, latch on into your world, into your mind, into your belief of self, right? And it feels like that that may be what healing is taking place. Maybe something psychological, especially if when it, when it comes to self-worth. It could also just be about your health. So it's, if there is some, some health, something showing up with that, um, you are definitely coming out on the other side of that. Right, and that's also like this first house with this five of sticks, <clears throat> maybe just having some inflammation within your body, some um, back and forth with your health, but that's changing. Again, it, it, it created conflicts, but you won, you're winning. What else is here, Spirit for Aries? Interesting. So you got the Cherubitis and Scylla. Skilla. And it says the future holds promise. But this card also, and it's a number 74, which speaks about justice. So the Charbitis and Skilla also speaks about caution. Caution to the wind. I'm going to read it for you. Let's see. So it says, you may be between two difficult or faithful works or between two equal dangers. Trying to avoid one hazard, you fall into peril or seeking to avoid one fault, you stumble into another error. Charbitus and Scylla are formidable monsters. Scylla has six necks, six heads, and a triple row of teeth to snap up the innocent. And Charbitus is a whirlpool that swallows up ships. They indicate that you may be tempted to fall in with a wrong person or situation. If you are in two minds about something, seeing the dangers will help you avoid repeating or making greater mistakes. By sticking to your principles, you are more likely to survive. So focus on what is factual, what is true for you. Um, yeah, you may be having people coming through, offering you something, friendship, meet, helping you meet your goals, something in regards to your creative, whatever it is that you're creating wanting to get to know you but if you feel like you're questioning it you just maybe it, it's something all right so ownership here so this speaks about taking responsibility for how it is that you show up and how it is that you make other people feel right so perhaps um there has been some conflict in regards to who it is that you are you know but that's the thing we can't really help who we are like we can always change but does that change resonate with us does it does that um is that in alignment with our life with us you know so it's important that we do take responsibility for how it is that we um make others feel but also this is also about repairing bridges so there may be some people you may be reconnecting with this summer as well um and, and just start small just start small but recognize how the way you show up um how that affects other people <laughs> right especially if you have been the one causing the conflict knowingly or unknowingly okay what else is here for aries spirit aries what other messages do you have for aries oh the fifth house coming out under the sun which is ruled the fifth house is ruled by the sun <laughs> and so this is about um Again, your creative expression, it really feels like areas that you are are also going to be desiring or needing to do something different with your children, or you're just going to be inspired to, to start 
doing things in their world differently. Um, maybe more so tapping into uh, your creative expression. You may be really focused on where it is that you want to go with your personal legacy within your family, within your world, with your children. And that may be what new is taking place for you and how you go about um, connecting with them. But this is also speaking about Oh, you may be receiving some new sense of fame. That's interesting. Um, and this is through the work it is that you do. All the inspirations that you've acted on, the, what you've put into is starting a new cycle, right? Something, um, and with the sun in, in the fifth house is fairly big energy. Um, it's not Jupiter big, but it's big. <laughs> You know, the sun, it, it nourishes the entire earth. So uh, there's definitely something happening. You may be finding a new way to express yourself. Um, you may be showing up in your creativity differently this summer as well. Um, what else is here? You may be reconnecting with your sense of innocence too. Yeah, and feeling very spirited and vivacious and lively within that. Um, and that is, in itself is also going to support you in your healing, right? So whatever decision it is that you need to make in regards to going about this healing, um, go ahead and make that decision. Make sure you're taking care of your body, you're moving, you're eating good, you're drinking water, um, having a solid spiritual practice, one that aligns with you. Right, in that you are uh, taking care of your mental hygiene. How are you thinking and perceiving, and is this serving you? You can witness that through what's manifesting in your life. What else is here? Okay, so it's the summertime, get into some breath work. All right, this is the nine of feathers. So this is about balance, order, um, and things coming into harmony, okay? And nine of air, nine of feathers speaks about air, speaks about the direction west. That is about, the west direction is children. That's very interesting. You getting pregnant this, this summer, Aries? Um, and it says breathe and thought. So breath work, breathing, taking time to be still is really going to help you in getting your mind clear, right? Um, again, this is about truth and creativity too. Um, so that might be causing a little conflict. Um in regards to how you think and perceive things and, um, and being very focused on the truth. And I'm not talking about the truth in regards to your truth. I'm talking about the truth, universal law truth, right? That may cause some conflict. People may not be happy with that, but what is, is. It can't be changed. <laughs> it can't be changed. People can be mystified and then bring up whatever um, super superfluous uh, opinions that they want or um, whatever ideals they try to create. But at the end of the day, it doesn't really matter, right? Because the truth is the truth. It's unchangeable. It's like your soul, right? So um, again, mother energy, got the bear here. The bear also speaks about like, if there's anything you've been suspecting, um, you may be finding out that that is true, whether that is a good thing or whether you see this on a lighter side or a darker side, however it is that that's manifesting. Um, but that's the king of wands. So that speaks about you being very quick to act and having success with that, right? Mother energy, again, I pulled another card because the bear doesn't really say a lot. And this is about um, happiness. It's a good omen, okay? This is, um, it, it's good fortune, right? So again, that's mothering, that's pregnancy, but 
is also speaking about um, intuition, right? Because you got the high priestess and the hierophant here. You got the high priestess and the high priest, right? So you may be coming into a lot of balance in regards to who it is that you are in your soul. And this may be aligning you to your sense of self-worth. You may even, you may just be having also some radical shifting within your subconscious mind too, um, that is raising your perception, your perspective. You were seeing things from a higher octave. That's, that's very interesting god mind out here all right and at the bottom you got the key so new doors are opening maybe showing up as a leader in some regard in some kind of way okay so what else is here for Aries spirit what else what song is in my head what else is here Aries spirit. Aries. What else would you like Aries to know for this summer solstice energy? Aries. Wow. Okay, so you have transformation here. Since things are changing at a, at a cellular level, deep healing. So a lot of healing energy happening here. Your vibration is rising. You got the pillar of light at the bottom. You are the oracle. Okay, so <laughs> I'm very interested to see like the Aries in my life and what's taking place for them. Because, yeah, this is, this is very in, in, in interesting a lot of justice being had some work is paying off um it's almost like you're receiving your due you have caused uh, an effect a grand one all right and it's allowing you to be in yourself of yourself all the time of course you're gonna have to um deal with what has been what has happened right but in a sense that's just kind of it's more so about within and less about outside of you, right? Because we can't really do anything about other people. I mean, we can feel some kind of way about the way a person is feeling, but at the same time, we can't dictate how it is that they feel because at the end of the day, they chose to feel that. Regardless of how a person tries to play it, no one can make you do anything the same way you can't make anyone do anything. It's no different. Okay. And success. You have success here. It says, open your mind and your heart to good things. You need to start seeing, if you've been seeing things in a, like a darker state, always seeing things very negatively, that's a message. It's time to change that. You got maturity here at the bottom and sanctuary, cleanse. Yeah, so maybe it's a good time to do a cleanse this summer. It's a great time for everybody to do a cleanse during the summer. You know, we pack on a lot of foods that weigh us down and everything like that. In the summertime, it gets so hot. Will it get really hot where I'm at? <laughs> I don't know about everywhere else, but... Um, it's very cooling to cleanse during the summertime, okay? So make sure you're drinking a lot of water, taking you a lot of spiritual baths, doing a lot of cleansing rituals, okay? Maybe even some type of cleansing candle work, purification work, all right? Cleansing of the mind, of the heart, of the body, all right? Aries, I'm gonna leave it there, my lovelies. And yes, I will see y'all in the fall. I hope that this blesses you. And yes, y'all have a wonderful summer.